Hello everyone, I'm Genesis. I'm Junebug. And this is... <laughs> Let's see how this goes. <laughs> I've left my list on the thing. I can get it when we get ready. So, today, we thought we would play Two Truths and a Lie. If you're about my age and live in West Michigan, you could have possibly played this as an introductory thing in class when you're introducing yourself. If you're my age, you've never heard of this game before. Well, <laughs> just, let's not jump the gun. Okay. <laughs> it's the first time I've heard of it, so she gave me a gist of how it goes. and Simple enough. Yeah. It took, and Julian played it. Did they? Yeah. It took me a while. It's harder to come up with truths and lies about yourself than you think. I think people have also done two lies and a truth. Yeah. I don't know if that would have been easier or not. Maybe. Maybe. Because you have to think of a lie that's realistic. Yeah. Those... All right. Unless you've done a lot of extravagant things in your life. I have not. Yeah, that's surprisingly hard to do. <laughs> I've done one, like, extravagant thing, and you know what it is. I do. You look so too excited. I think you're thinking of a wrong thing. She flew an airplane. <laughs> Genesis. <laughs> she could fly aircraft. I co-piloted. <laughs> oh, don't let her brag or uh, be humble. She... Saved lives and that I know. I did not. <laughs> I survived. Does that count? Yeah. Yay. Okay. All right. I'm going to just take a second. Because he didn't bring his dang list over. It's such a big deal. Do y'all like my shirt? Because I like it. When will I ever return? Oh, it's just now. Do y'all hate Genesis' shirt? Because no. I do. No. <laughs> you love it. It's got so many stains. Well, they can't see it if you don't point them out. Honey. Oh, honey. So, do you want to jump right into it? Because I imagine some of mine might have a story to be told. Oh, okay. So, we each got five little sections? Yeah, questions. Whatever. So, I can go first because I suggested this. And I played it. Played it before. Okay, y'all ready for this? Uh, so you can't see it through the paper. Oh. So this one's pretty easy. You'll probably know this. I hope so. Okay, two truths and a lie. I like ham. I like onions. And I like sauerkraut. What? You you don't like ham. That's a lie. Correct. You like sauerkraut? I've never seen yeah. you eat sauerkraut. Well, it's not a common food for me. Like at the Polish gatherings slash Russian gatherings on my side of the family, we eat a lot of sauerkraut. I'll remember that. If any of my uh, meals come with a sauerkraut side, you can have it because I don't. That's not my favorite. Let's not. You're getting all the sauerkraut from now to the end of time. So. You don't get a lot of sauerkraut. You get a lot of coleslaw with sandwiches. Uh... I don't like coleslaw. Don't force feed me that. <laughs> That's my mistake. All right, so. Uh, I have my motorcycle endorsement, I have my snowmobile permit, and I never owned an SNES. A, a Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Well, wait, can you read the first one again? Yes. I have my motorcycle endorsement on my license. Oh, wait. I have a snowmobile permit. And I've never owned a Super Nintendo Entertainment System. I don't think you have a snowmobile permit. That's correct. You don't get a snowmobile permit. <laughs> you get a registration like you would a normal vehicle, and then when you want to take it out on trails, you just buy a trail sticker and slap it on. Good job. I win. At first I was going to say, oh, the motorcycle one, but you keep renewing it even though you don't have a motorcycle currently. And Yeah. So if I ever get one and I don't have to retake the classes or nothing, I can just... He's an expert. Get a insurance and be good to go. How would, why would you do that? I'm so nice. <laughs> you so offensive. <laughs> that light is hurting my eyeballs. Mm -hmm. I'm trying not to stare directly at it. So, I was wishing you hadn't brought this up because it's part of this question. So, I've co-piloted a plane. Oh. I've played violin for 10 years. And I've played alongside the Grand Rapids Symphony. See, I'm trying to remember how many years you've actually played. Because I know it's been at least 10 years. Do you miss this? <clears throat> it's better than mine. Well, you're uh, not growing out your beard right now. I guess the lie is you've been playing for 10 years because I feel like it's been more than 10 years. 
I thought that would trick you. <laughs> Have you played with Phil, the harmonic guy? <laughs> I've also played in a Philharmonic orchestra for the community. But I played for 11 years. Okay. It's only it, 11. I'm two for two. Yay. Hey. I, All right. I knew you knew I co-piloted the plane. Yes. It was just a matter of, has she actually been good enough to play with the Grand Rapids Symphony? Mm. Or is she lying about how many years? <laughs> All right. Ready? Mm -hmm. So the first movie I ever saw in theater was Toy Story. I used to have a collection of Dr. Seuss books. And the first sport I ever played in a league was soccer. I feel like the Toy Story one's a lie. Nope. Is that? Nope. The first movie I ever seen. I remember watching it with my mom and dad in theater. That's older than I thought. <laughs> That's what, it's one of my it's one of my first memories ever. Because I can see you just having Dr. Seuss books like now. Because you just... <laughs> <laughs> okay. I didn't know we were going to be savage for this video. <laughs> I'm a little offended by that. So was it the Dr. Seuss one? No. I used to have like a... Um, Wait, what was the third one? <laughs> the first sport I ever played in the league was soccer. The I first thought it was soccer. Nope, it was baseball. In preschool? Or... That's not a professional league, well, okay? <laughs> there, it was a group of other kids. I was the only one from Portland because the the league, whatever, the, other, the team that I belonged to was from Sunfield, which is where we played. But I shouldn't be saying... The names of these places out loud. I mean, no one's gonna go. No one's gonna find you there. You're not yeah. there. Um, I, I do don't too. remember. Yeah, I don't remember where the the subscription came from. But I used to get like a Dr. Seuss book a month or something for half a year. And like the first book came. So you with... stopped it last year. <laughs> yes. All right, lay it on me. I feel bad not knowing that. I don't know you. That's a really obscure fact to know about me. Yeah, the more you know. <laughs> okay, travel edition. Oh no. I've been to New Jersey. I've been to Tennessee. I've been to Georgia. I know you've been to New Jersey. The seagulls there are bitches. <laughs> um. Then I think. Because I'm pretty sure you've been to Florida. You would have haven't driven through Tennessee. I think you would have also had to have driven through Georgia to get to Florida. That's a good one. It's either Tennessee or Georgia. I'm going to flip a coin and say you've never been to Georgia. Because you used to talk about the mountains in Tennessee. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I've never been to Georgia. We've never driven to Florida. Have you been to Florida then? Yeah. We flew. Oh. Yeah. Is I that the plane you, say, <laughs> Is that the plane you flew? I bet you it's the plane no. you flew. No. It took me a second for the everything to click, but... I have not been... I've been over Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> I've looked at it on a map. Is it everything you dreamed it would be? Yes. Okay. So, this one is tennis related. Oh. I've never broken a racket string. I had to borrow shoes once at a tennis tournament. And I hit Donnie with a serve. The first one's... Lie. I've never broken a racket string. That is correct. I, I, you told me about hitting Donnie. Mm -hmm. Your friend. <laughs> oh, the, I don't know if I should be using his name. No one's going to find him. Okay. Sorry, Donnie. Well, the, <laughs> that didn't mean continue. Oh. He's not going to end up watching And this. then you also told me about the shoe thing. Oh, I don't remember telling you about the shoe thing. In your sleep. No. <laughs> yeah, tennis match. Uh, my, I used to drag, I still drag my feet when I play tennis and hit the ball, and I, my shoes got all tore up, and I think it was like the last match of the day, and my shoes were just like torn to shreds, so somebody on the tennis team was like, what size shoes are you? And let me borrow his for the Do match. Do you have duck feet, <laughs> <laughs> I have wide feet, it's a thing. He's got prescription shoes. <laughs> I'm joking. He does not. I was going to say, I do not. That's a not. lie. <laughs> All right, number four, lay it on me. Okay, this is an age thing. Shit. I feel like you're gonna know this. I was 19 when I got my first smartphone, which is the one I still have. I was 12 when I got my first phone, non-smart track phone. I got you. And then I was 15 when I had my first kiss. Ooh. Um. Looks like. 
I know 19 is when you first got your smartphone. Yes. <laughs> I'm very behind the times. I feel like 12 being your first phone. I think that's a lie. False. Dang. <laughs> I was 12 when I got my first phone. Oh, yeah. So you were not 15 when you got kissed first? I think that was you. I was your first kiss? <laughs> I'm very late bloomer. I thought that, yeah. I also don't like germs. <laughs> I've been kissing wrong then. <laughs> we didn't kiss till we were officially dating, like boyfriend, girlfriend, too. Mm -hmm. And even then, it was a little while after. Like a month in. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I don't like touching people. <laughs> yeah, I kissed her and she ran out the door. True no, story. No. Yes, you did. I had to leave. Okay, <laughs> see? I didn't run, I trotted. Mm, that was a very leisurely trot then, let me tell you. Leisurely trot. So slow. Whatever. Alright. That, that, that was number four? Yep. Okay. So I used to have an Arby's sign in my room. Like the restaurant Arby's? Yep. Okay. I used to have a candy vending machine in my room. And I used to have a microwave in my room. I knew the microwave. Okay. So what didn't I have in my room? I think it's the vending machine. That is incorrect. Oh. I used to have, it was a, vending, a candy vending machine that Donnie and Steve-O found. Like well, a big vending machine? No, it was the one where you put the quarter in, uh, like they well, were square. I was thinking of this, and like, I don't remember you telling me about that. Nope. I the, would have fallen for you sooner. <laughs> the candy in that was probably five years old in a Why'd you eat it? Moldy basement because the it was still all right. Some pieces were all right, but yeah, I used to. I don't know you. I kept that in my room for probably I two so years. Bad. These are some things like. I knew you had a microwave though. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. Wait for the next one. Oh. Okay. So I don't think it's like terribly hard, but I can see it maybe. Next one. The final one. This is just obscure crap. Okay. I have a scar on my wrist from a pencil. I Which wrist? <laughs> Obviously. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. I used to play on my grandfather's construction equipment. My second choice of instrument, if it was a violin, was flute. Mm, excuse me? I don't remember you ever bringing up the flute thing. I'm almost positive you would have played around on Brooks's stuff. <laughs> what was the third one? I have a scar on my scar. wrist from a pencil. Being stabbed by a pencil? I was stabbed by a pencil too. But I did it myself. Um. I don't remember you showing me a scar either, so I'm going to say the scar on the wrist. False. Damn. I was stabbed by a chick in fifth grade. <laughs> I think you did tell me that. He's on these wrists. My great grandmother calls it my, although it's probably not culturally appropriate. Hmm. Granted, she is from different times. Great grandmother, yeah, imagine. Yeah, my great grandma. She says it's my backwards. Uh, wait, no, she calls it a Polish suicide cut. Oh. Because because supposedly they they were stupid back then and oh. they did it backwards. That's not how I think, but that's what she called it. I can barely see it. I it's faded over time. Say, I can't really see it Well, we're all. also blinded by the light. <laughs> but yes, I did play on the construction equipment. I loved playing on the trailers and the bobcats when they were, like, just chilling at his house, not right. when he was working. And then my second choice of instrument was not flute. What was it? Cello. Why should I be surprised that it was another string instrument? Then it was, if I had to be in band, I would have chosen flute, and then second choice would have been drums. Okay. What do I know about them drums? So, uh, I used to have a Taco Bell sign in my room. I used to have a shopping cart, and I've never played in a basketball league. How big is a shopping cart? It's like a normal metal shopping cart that you would get from Walmart or Meyer. Because I know you had the little one in the kitchen. Oh, no, no. That's this not was... why you're counting it. No. Out. Okay. 
Are you trying to be sly again with your big vending machine that ended up being tiny? It wasn't tiny. I mean, Can I hear the questions? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I used to have a Taco Bell sign in my room. I used to have a shopping cart. And I have never played in a basketball league. I don't think you had a shopping cart. Shit, you shop. Why, do you, why did you have a shopping cart? Technically, I stole that from my sister. And I also stole the Taco Bell sign from my sister, too. I did have a Taco Bell sign. I had a feeling it was the basketball league. I'm like, you're going to say the wrong answer, but why the hell would he have a shopping cart? Why would I have a Taco Bell sign? Because it's a sign. It's decoration. I mean, it was the, it's a full Taco Bell sign. The thing sat about this tall and that Taco Bell with an arrow. That's more realistic than a freaking... Shopping cart just in your room. Yeah, you can pick up. Hold the Taco Bell sign. You can pick a shopping cart up and throw it in the back of an Explorer SUV truck, whatever. Stop taking shopping carts. Well, I haven't in a long time. Mm-hmm. I. You're not more interested about the Taco Bell sign because that's pretty rare to have. No. Fine. I did play in a basketball league for one year, my fifth grade year. So which one was a lie? I've never played in a basketball league. Wait, you just said you did. Yeah, that's why it's a lie. Uh, wait, I thought you said you had played in a basketball no, league. No, I said oh. I haven't played in a uh, league. Have not played in a league. Okay, okay. Yes. I got confused. I thought for sure the... I'm terrible soon-to-be wife. Oh. I don't deserve this. Oh, you can put it back on. I spent too much money on that for that not to be on your finger. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you did better than I thought you would. I did better than I thought I would too. I got, what, three out of five? Yeah. I feel so bad. I got two. Right? Two out of five? Yeah. Oh. That mean I win? Yes. <clears throat> I Good don't. Job. I don't like it. I oh. wanted to know more. <laughs> <laughs> That's. It took me a while to come up with all those two. I didn't think as long as he did. For the I things. took forever. Yeah. I was like, well, how do I do this? I was like, how about, why don't you eat food first? He's like, no, I will finish this first, then eat. I demolished that food, too. It was right before we started filming. Do you like my cup? It says, uh, a, book a room without, without books book. is like a body without a soul. <laughs> I like it. Anyway, I hope you liked this. I had fun. Yeah. It was enjoyable. Maybe we could do sure. two lies and a truth in the future. Ooh. I can't come up with more facts about my life. This was hard enough. <laughs> Maybe we could have more prep time. But yeah. anyway, we'll let you go if any of you know us well enough to play along. <laughs> um. Yeah, it, only my closest friends, I feel like, would be able to. Like, my and his close yeah. friend. Very close. We're forever friends. Hmm? You put a... You said yeah, so you got... You're along for the ride. <laughs> did, you, did you almost say you put a ring on it? Yeah. Like, I bought the ring myself. Yeah, I said like, we're engaged. Yeah, I put the ring on it. <laughs> anyway, yes, thank you for joining us this week, and we'll see you next time. Woo-hoo. Bye, guys.